sector and of our national ship building industry and highlights its dynamic capacity to undertake different important assignments and deliver various types of vessels in this emerging space. In May, I presided over the re rededication of KNS, I'm a Kenyan Navy ship, Shupavo, the first naval ship to undergo a midlife re uh, refit in Kenya, which proved the capacity of Kenya shipyards to undertake complex engineering tasks requiring specialized scientific and technological expertise. Today, we are commissioning a wholly newly built Majam marine vessel, once again demonstrating the ability of the Kenya shipyards to build, repair, and maintain ships for local, regional, and possibly international operators. The work of building MV Uhuru 2 and <clears throat> upgrading the Kisumu shipyard has been undertaken by Kenyan professionals in a project which provided many young people with practical shipbuilding skills through apprenticeship and on-the-job training and was completed within 24 hours, 24 months, sorry, and well within its budget. I must congratulate my predecessor, President Uhuru Kenyatta, for his foresight in coming up with this shipyard uh, refurbishment. When one morning he asked me for us to visit Kisumu and see what the military could do, when we came here, it was a heap of dirt, wreckage, and old buildings. To see what we are seeing here today is phenomenal. And I must say, both President Uhuru Kenyatta and the leadership of our military, with a lot of foresight, drove this program to where we are today. When I took over office, it is among the first decisions I had to make when the leadership of the military 